so I just want to quickly show you how I kind of optimize Windows. So I'm doing a clean install right now on this computer. And we get to the part where we're installing Windows. So I'm going to go to Custom. Now all these partitions here, I'm going to delete them. So that way it's just unallocated space. So now we only have the drive itself. I'm not going to format it or anything. I'm just going to leave it like this. And now I'm just going to click Next, and that's going to make the partition and everything for me. Now I'm just going to click Next, and I'm just going to start installing Windows. So now we just wait until this is done, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so it's all good. I'm going to do Language, Canada Land, Keyboard, US, sure, no extra keyboard, awesome. So this is uh, one primary part that I want to show you now. So I'm going to set it up for personal use because I'm selling this. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom left where it says offline account. So that way I don't have to use a Microsoft account. And it's going to ask me about all these like cool features that I want. So I'm going to go to the limited experience. And now from here, I can just type in my user. And no password. So now we have a local account. Just like, you know, how Windows used to be. And I'm just going to make sure all of these are off. There we go. And I do not want to use Gortana right now. There we go. So I'm going to let that finish up and then when we get to the desktop I'll show you uh, what I what I do next. Now to slipstream this a little bit, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So we're going to get rid of the Gortana button down there in the bottom left. Uh, get rid of the task view button. Get rid of the search. So now those are gone. Okay, we're get rid of mail. Uh, the recycle bin up here, I'm actually just going to drag this down to File Explorer, so that way if you ever just want to like quickly empty the recycle bin, um, you just right click, and then it's right here, and you can go to the recycle bin. Uh, get rid of that icon there, and recycle bin, sure. Now, uh, next is the notifications here, I never use these. Clear that, um, and the keyboard in the bottom corner here so i never use these notifications the keyboard in the bottom corner i'm never going to change that and then also these things here we're going to get rid of the bluetooth one uh, we're going to open OneDrive settings go over here to start automatically with windows we're going to turn that off and we're going to close OneDrive. so now it doesn't open automatically anymore now to get rid of those uh, things down here we're going to go to settings uh, we're going to go to personalization. Now, the first thing that I want to do here is go to colors. Dark. Always dark. Uh, lock screen. I'm just going to get rid of all of these things here. Just so there's nothing extra that's running. Uh, get that. Theme. Desktop icon settings. Remove the recycle bins. Now the desktop's all clean. There's nothing on it. Uh, we're going to skip font, we're not going to change anything there. We're going to go to the start menu here and we're going to uncheck everything except the app. So that way it's not going to recommend anything or just add stuff by itself. And then for the taskbar, we're going to go down. We're going to turn uh, system icons on or off and we're going to turn off the input indicator. So that's going to get rid of the keyboard down here in the corner. So now that's gone and we're going to get rid of uh, the notifications uh, action center. So we're going to turn that one off, and now that's gone too. So now it's just the time in the corner, nice and clean. Very minimalist. Now we're going to go back to the main settings, and we're going to go to System. So now that the notifications are off, we're going to go to Notifications, and we're going to disable everything, and then turn that off. Um, now one problem that I ended up uh, finding a lot, actually, was tons of customers used to come in, and their computer was stuck on tablet mode. So I just select this to never use tablet mode and don't switch to tablet mode so that way the shortcut keys that actually switch it to tablet mode are disabled and they're no longer going to work so you'll never have someone end up with an issue where it ends up getting switched into tablet mode by mistake so now we're going to search for updates put that over to the side while it's doing that i'm going to open this and we're just going to unpin all of these Okay, now we're just going to drag that over, and now we have a nice clean start menu. Now, the next thing that I like to do is go to user account control uh, in here. So that little pop-up window 
that comes up to make you like agree for permissions for everything and it's super annoying you can just turn that off just by dragging this all the way down and when you click ok it it comes up because it wants to know that you want to do that so this is the screen that I'm talking about so when you hit yes it never comes up again so there we go now it opens to quick access which I hate so this PC so I wanted to always open to this by default so we're gonna go to view in the top go to options change this right here to this PC and we're gonna get rid of the frequent apps okay we're all good now we're gonna go to control panel and go to all control panel items power options change the plan settings and we're gonna make it so the computer never goes to sleep you, you can leave that if you want I just change it to never so that way if it's doing updates or downloading games or something it's not gonna go to sleep and it's not gonna stop the downloads from happening in the background um, now one thing I'm not going to do with this but another thing that you can do if you're low on system specs and you want like a little bit more performance or something you can go to system and then in here you can go to advanced system settings and under performance uh, you can adjust for best performance which is going to disable everything and it's going to make it look like complete garbage however if you enable uh, the smooth edges the window content while dragging and show thumbnails instead of icons it pretty much looks exactly the same as it does except it ends up being a lot more snappy because it disables everything else that's in the background so now with all of that stuff done there uh, so the um the transparent windows and everything are disabled because we turn that off so you can't actually see the window through it which i mean isn't like a huge thing i just think it looks a little bit better with that so i usually keep it on um but actually this computer being older i'm actually just going to leave it the way it was now another thing that I like to do just for ease is the uh, default name that it picks for the computer. We can change that. And what I generally like to do for this is I like to make it the model number for the motherboard. So if you ever need to look up uh, drivers or anything, uh, MB, what is it, MVP, and then uh, Lux, there we go. Okay, so that's the uh, the motherboard model number. Oh, okay, wait, so it's a little bit too long. Get another dash there. Okay. Uh, so, M3A32. M3A32. MVP Deluxe. MVP Deluxe. Perfect. Okay. Okay, it's going to cut off the E at the end, but whatever. It's probably fine. So that's going to change that, and it won't change until we restart the computer, which is fine. Uh, I will restart later. So it's going to change it to the uh, the name of the motherboard once we restart, and that'll be the computer name after that. Um, and all of the Windows updates were actually done there. So now the next thing that we can do is open Edge and download the new Edge, because it's actually not that bad. So we'll just let this go. Yep, downloading, done. So now it's going to close the other one, the original one, and it actually replaces it with the new one, which that's kind of a cool feature because you can download uh, the new Microsoft Edge standalone. Oh my god, what the hell is this focus doing? Uh, you can download the new Microsoft Edge as a standalone app but if you do it like this then it actually replaces it and then you don't have another app sitting in the background so this is actually a really cool feature because it's based off of chrome so it's actually a really good browser it's pretty quick um still a ram hog like chrome is but i've actually noticed that it's a lot better than chrome itself like it's uh, comparable to firefox uh, not in terms of privacy but it's, it's definitely for performance in uh, the terms of firefox uh, over firefox is definitely still a more private browser same with uh, brave so we're going to let this finish, and then we'll do the AMD drivers. Oh, and this thing here, when it brings up, I, I like to make it very minimalist, because it gives you the options, which I love. Great, Microsoft, you did good here. Uh, so we can get started. So it's going to switch, so you can do this inspirational thing where it has uh, like the picture in the background, gives you little like shortcuts and everything, uh, informational, so it'll actually give you a news feed that you can actually customize and everything if you want that. It'll give you... like well, news that you are interested in, 
or focus, which disables everything, and that's the one that I prefer to pick. Uh, I'm going to continue without an account because I'm selling this. Now I'm going to go up here, go all the way down to, uh, where are we here, settings. And then over here, we're going to go to appearance. And we're going to change this to dark. Much better. Okay, so now we can just delete that icon there. Uh, I don't know why I closed that. Uh, now we're just going to do, this is an AMD computer, so AMD drivers. And then AMD has this pretty nifty tool where you don't actually have to look for anything. You just download this, and then it just does its thing, and it uh, it finds all the drivers and everything for you. So you don't need to uh, pick your graphics card manually and everything like you do with NVIDIA. So, I mean, performance aside, um, it's definitely a lot easier to deal with AMD. It's a lot more user-friendly. Uh, so that's that's good. That's downloaded. We don't need that anymore. Now this is going to go. This takes a little while, and then it's also going to restart the computer to erase the driver that uh, Microsoft currently installed, and then it's going to install its own driver. So if you're used to NVIDIA drivers where you use a display driver uninstaller like DDU, uh, this basically does that for you. So it, it it actually installs it through the proper method of how you should do uh, NVIDIA drivers, but it does it it does it itself. So that's, again, the ease of access of AMD is amazing, but the performance isn't entirely there. But, I mean, performance, ease of access, cost, I don't know. If you want, like, an entry-level gaming computer, AMD is without question the way to go. Um, but if you're, like, bleeding-edge technology, want the best of everything, then you, you basically have to go with NVIDIA. Um, anyway, I'm going to let this finish, and then when it restarts, I'll show you the, the next install when it's, uh, when it's removed the driver and then it's installing the new one. So you can see by the delightful aspect ratio here that it has removed the graphics driver and now it's actually installing the new one. And then once that's done, we'll be back to normal resolution and everything will be peachy. Now that the resolution is back the way it should be, we can just restart. And the drivers have been updated and all the Windows updates are done. So we only have one more step really and then this thing's done and ready to go. This is just specific to this computer, but I also changed the accent color uh, to orange and blue, so that way it matches the orange and blue of this computer. It's it's the little things, right? I think it works. All right, now the last thing that I like to do, just as I'm finishing everything up, is go to uh, disk cleanup. I'm gonna run it as administrator. Now it's going to go through here, and we're just going to check all of the boxes. Now if you're on an older version of Windows, I can't remember which version, 1904, 1910, uh, one of those two, there was tons of people reporting that their downloads folder was being deleted, and that's because Microsoft decided to add the downloads folder into this. Um, so make sure if you have that version, uncheck the downloads folder, otherwise you will delete it. So we're actually gonna save 1.12 gigabytes here. So now we can just delete all that, it's gonna get rid of everything, and uh, that's it. Uh, this thing's done, it's fairly well optimized, it's pretty quick, and uh, yeah, that's what I do when I um, install Windows um, on a computer that's not mine. There's a significantly more that I do on a computer that's mine. Um, I will remove everything like i get rid of absolutely everything that's in there all of the telemetry stuff for windows edge chrome i mean uh, cortana like everything gets completely removed and i completely strip it down but i i use linux now so this isn't really much of an issue i haven't done this stuff in forever but uh these old computers they gotta go so we're back at windows we're back installing stuff and trying to get rid of these things and then that's probably going to be it, really. I don't know. Uh, like, share, subscribe, or don't. I don't, I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do.